Hi, welcome to Linux L tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about some of the important and useful commands for Linux user and the administrator. Let me see the commands. Now the first command we are going to discuss about sudo command. sudo stands for super user loop. So I am now currently presented in user 1 as a local user. So purpose of sudo is user 2. It will give the privilege like a root privilege to your local user. So without sudo I will give some examples. Now I am going to install package in this local user without using sudo. Hit enter. Here you see shows message you need to perform like a root. So the package will be owned install by using normally yum install instead of I am using sudo after enter this command hit enter now your package will be started for downloading now your package will be started for downloading how it's work means your local user should be added to your sudo file then only this setup will be work so I am added to my user1 to my sudo file that's one then only the sudo will be working local user so after shown this message press yes to continue now your package will be installed successfully so this is the method to use sudo and also you can use any other permission of root permission by using sudo so next command is so next command is python so it can in this command will generate a simple web page over http for the directory structure so after enter this command hit enter so directory can be accessed at port 8000 in browser so now go to your browser now open your browser enter your local host and your port number so after enter this command hit enter so now your listening directory will be shown here so this is your generates a simple web page over http so your structure to directory of structure to will be shown below now the next command is mostly we are using to check the network while connecting or not by using ping and the trace out so we go into execute same command in one option by using mtr command so let's see the result mtr is the combination of ping and a trace route command so after enter this command hit enter to check your status before that you can run your ping and trace route command also so after enter the M M mtr command hit enter so now your status will be shown here so this mtr is nothing but is used to trace your network connection between the host this is the status of your google.com so you can trace any other sites depends upon your wish so this is the method to use mtr command after if you want to quit this terminal press q to end this terminal so some other machines don't have mtr package you should install the mtr package by using yum install now the next command i am going to open my working editor by using shortcut key control plus x plus e so now i'm going to show how to use. now press control x plus e here your emacs editor will be open here you can type your text or any documents in this editor so before that you should call your emacs vim editor by using yum install vmax editor so this is the method to open your working editor emacs editor by pressing Control plus x plus e now the next command is nl command nl command is the name the line of file let me see 
first I am going to use cat and my file my, I am going to open my file by using cat hit the enter after enter this command here the three file will be shown in normally without any numbers by using nl and enter my file hit enter now it will be mentioned in numbers the line will be mentioned in numbers so this is the purpose to use nl command now the next command is shuff command it is used to randomly select lines files folders from a file folder let me see the examples so before that you list your directory current working directory before that you should you should list your current working directory by using ls so these are the content which is present in your directory so now the for this command ls pipe symbol and shove hit enter now now here shows the result and again enter the command now again hit enter now the order will be changed see in your first directory here templates and documents here see templates and videos is there and here first content will be documents and anaconda so by using ls iphone shelf it will be randomly selected files will be listed first by using shelf you can use the following method also now you can use by this method also n1 for one line will be mentioned hit now again enter the same command hit now again enter the same command here the random will be sh random randomly generated file will be shown again you can hit again you can hit the file will be changed randomly and you can use by n1 instead of n2 now it will be listed two files randomly okay hit here shows two files randomly now you can use n3 also and you can use n4 also and you can use n5 also so this is depends upon content which is present in your directory so this is the method to use shuff command in linux now the next, next command we are going to discuss about ss command ss stands for socket statics this command is used to investigate the socket information it can display more tcp information compared to other tools so i'm going to enter ss hit enter now now it will be shows the information of your TCP ports and also shows your information about socket information also last command is last command last command shows the history of last log in users so you enter last hit enter now here the result will be shows last logged user here user 1 and your root user will be last log user so you can verify by using this command by using last command and also this command search through the files in var log wtmp location so next command is call the call command is used to get the external ip address to your terminal now the next command is call command it will show your external IP address into your terminal. This is the command to show your external IP in your terminal. Hit enter after enter this command. Now your output will be shows. This is your external IP of your system, and it will take some some times to load. So this is the method to check your external IP address by using call. Now the next command is tree command. It is used to get the current directory structure in tree format. So enter tree. Now after enter this command, hit enter. 
so now your result will be shown like this your your sub your directory fold files and folder will be listed like a tree the next command is ps tree the ps is, is used to shows all the process running currently along with associate child process but it is similar to tree command after enter this command hit enter so your result will be shown like this so this is the difference between using tree and ps tree now the next command is stat command stat command in linux it used to display the stat information of file and file system now i'm going to check my status information of my file system it is sda3 hit enter now now this is the status information of your file system the next step i am going to check my status of my file so this is the procedure to check stat and enter your file name hit enter now so this is your status of your file so i am executed both status of file and file system this is the method to check your status information of stat file and file system by using stat command next command is i am going to check my previously enter command by using shortcut keys alt plus dot so i am going to execute that so now plus alt plus dot so it shows the previous enter command now so this is the method to check your previous command by pressing alt plus dot and also now another option to check your previous command press escape plus dot it will be shows your enter entire previously entered command so let me see the output now i'm going to press escape plus dot so it will be show totally 2423 previous command is there if you want to display this all commands you should press yes so these are all the your used previously commands so two method to check your previous command by using shortcut key alt to plus dot and escape plus dot now the next command is to display your test appears being typed in real time by using echo command so now let us see the command now this is the command to execute your text in real time mode i have to enter this command hit enter now now the result will be shows in your real time mode now this is the method to display your text in real time method now the next command is now the next command is to list your all mounted file system by following command so this is the command to list your all mounted file system hit enter now so this is your output here it shows all mounted file system in your machine now the next command is i am going to clear my terminal in shortcut mode by pressing control plus l so now your control uh, terminal will be cleared by pressing so by pressing control plus l so this is your command to clear your terminal in shortcut mode now the next command we are going to discuss about file command a file command which gives the information about type of file so this is the command after enter this command hit enter so file dot txt so this is the empty file that's why it shows the empty here so and uh, any other status will be about file will be shown by using file dot txt now the next command is id id command print the real and the effective user and group id so i am going to print id now hit enter so this is my id status so if you i want to check my id for any other user like user 1 hit enter now so this is the id for user 1 euro id gid and group id so you can list your user or group id by following this command if you want to know information about 
ID of user or group we should follow this command for the next command now we are going to see about screen command it is used to open several separate terminal inside a one single terminal this screen command is an application is very useful while doing multiple program from a command line let me see how to use screen command before that you should install screen command package by using m install screen after enter this command hit enter in my system i am already installed my screen package so let me see how to use screen command so now type screen hit enter after enter this command it is used to create a new screen so see here your screen will be created in bash mode so now let me see the some useful keys to handle screen command so now press ctrl plus a and plus now now press your question mark symbol plus shift plus question mark symbol now your your help page will be opened so this is our your guide for how to handle screen now you are, if you want to go to next page means press space bar and now here another page command will be shown here now if you want to return to your normal terminal means press again space it will be returned now if you if you want to create another screen page by using shortcut key now press control plus a and now press c to create new window if you want to create new window in command line press control plus a and now press c to create new one yes screen one will be shown again if you want create another one means press again control plus a and press c now your now your second screen will be open this is the method to create your screen in command mode after that if you want to go for previous screen means again press control plus a now plus p now it is back to screen one if you want to move next screen means again control plus press control plus a now press n for go to next and now we switch to next screen now if you want to see which are the screen are running or not running by using screen iphone ls hit enter now so now the status will be shown here so this is the id for that screen particular screen so attach remains the screen will be active d attach means it is it will be inactive now if you want to restore your screen by using following command now i am going to restore my screen by using following command now i am going to restore the screen number 8815 so this is the command to restore your screen after enter the screen uh, after enter this command hit enter now so if you want to verify your uh, restore screen again go to screen ls iphone l so your 811 will be attached which means it will be activated so this is the method to use screen command now the next command we are going to see about curl. Curl is a command line tool for transferring data over a number of protocol. It is a client side application. It support FTP, HTTP, TFTP etc. So before using curl application you should install pa curl package by using yum install curl. So this is the command to install your curl. In my system I am already installed curl. So if you want to install you should follow this command. Now the above command shows URL and it will be displayed in std out terminal. After enter the command hit enter. So now output will be shown like this. This is the your standard output. Now the above command will save the 
url and it will be redirected after enter this command hit enter this is this is your saved html file hey, here your output will be presented which means backup of this google.com will be presented you can redirect it now your option call with using small o a small o by using result will be stored in the file name which provided so result will be stored in my get.test.html so after enter this command hit enter now your result will be stored in your created html file if you want to list your file ls in view vim my dot hit enter sir your HTML source, html source will be shown here so next command we are going to see about how to hide your command in history let me see the following method to some few commands date and uh, ls iphone l so now and uh, who so this kind of command i will be run if i go to history so now previously entered these three commands who date ls iphone will be shown here so if you want to hide the commands from the history terminal you should follow the command following method now i am going to enter space give one white space and give the command up time now hit enter again you go to history you are entered output will never here up time will be hided so again you give any other kind of command like again give one white space type who am i hit enter again you go to history hit enter see the who am i command will be not present here so this is the method to hide your command from your history terminal so this is your basic useful commands for linux user and administrator so that's all about this tutorial let me see you on another video thank you